y'all it's your boy ross back here again with another video we're gonna check out who's the king of the tope clan helio we're gonna check that out for you guys appreciate all the love and support road to 30k i appreciate you guys so much with all the comments and the likes and just the engagement on the channel trying to get it to 30k and um i believe we're gonna make that mark definitely before the year's up so let's check this out man and uh let's get right to it Bruh. The dude granola. Satisfying had hops. enough for a bear. Onto his forward, he has bear hops naked. for days. Humberto Cre uh, Creo. What happened to him? I mean, I know he's. I think is he still on the show? I don't even know. He's nice. And now some real steam being picked up by Humberto Creo. He goes flying. I believe he still is on the show. I could be wrong. Let me know. I, I think he is. They. I just don't think they use him as much. I could be wrong. Bro, that's just an amazing move for someone to be able to hit like that. And it looks like he, he almost lands it every time. Uh, Kofi. He was the WWE champ, man. Uh, and look, it takes it. A high flyer over the top rope. And suddenly Kofi is... Not bad. What is wrong with him? I hope they got him backed up somewhere. Bo Dallas cares. Oh my God! The fact that that he landed it, that shit is pretty dope. I got to you. Only Kofi's done yet. Kofi through the air. Mustafa Ali is definitely nice in the ring. Oh, that was dope. That was pretty cool. Not gonna lie to you. The elevation he got on that one. That one was pretty dope. Comes in handy. Wait a minute. Look at up and over. Cannot get frustrated. It's funny knowing that Mustafa was supposed to be the person in place of the Kofi Kingston run. That's funny to know. Because people actually were starting to get behind Mustafa Ali, but he ended up getting injured. And Kofi pretty much got into that slot. That's the crazy thing about wrestling. Just one thing can change the entire landscape for like six months. And he was the guy that the people wanted. It was originally supposed to be Mustafa Ali. That's insane. Oh, just to know about it. The involvement of Sami Zayn. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. And oh, oh. Over the Bro, that was dope. That was dope. The way he rode through. Running away from a fight. Classic Seth Rollins. Look out. Mamma oh. mia, Code Hero. This is the decade. Yep, that's, uh, you know, it was the first match ever on the live special on the WWE Network. Oh. He got a nice form. Like, it's like he's diving in. When he does his, it's like he does his dive. Like, he has this form. Like, yeah, he does this. Like, it's not bad. It looks nice, like, visually. Sami Zayn winding up. Here he comes. Gas in the tank. Yeah, Seth does it as well. Setting the ERs. Here we go. Back in the Shield days. That was a good match that they had at SummerSlam. That was a good match, too, when they were all going against each other. It was like a triple threat, I believe, for the championship. Live TV like, from 85 plus channels with local sports and all news. Going against YouTube each other. TV. Try it free. The double ads, man. The non skippable ads. Here we go again. Xavier does it too? Damn, I didn't even know that. Nice response from Xavier Woods. He was now ready for takeoff. Over the top. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess he does. Day is rolling on SmackDown. Not there anymore. And uh, he's about to get company. Woods gonna fly. This is not bad. This is not bad. 
I still like Mustafa Ali's so far from this clip. Mustafa Ali's looks it looks impressive when he does it. And I like Sami Zayn's just that little flair he adds to it. It's still impressive for anybody to be able to do. It's like still hella impressive for anybody to be able to just jump over the top rope and clear it. Oh my God, Jesus! Yeah, that sounded like it hurt. He's gonna get it here on Monday night. Here he comes. And now just oh, God damn. Now, from what I know, I'm somewhat keeping up with Raw. Uh, I believe they they're playing the seeds for when Buddy Murphy turns on Seth because he's been getting attacked by Seth Rollins like as punishment. So they're planting the seeds, and eventually Buddy Murphy will turn on Seth Rollins. And maybe he gets a decent run out of it. Because I remember he was getting some buzz when he was going against Roman Reigns. They were having some pretty good matches on SmackDown. So hopefully he's able to get some momentum and they really run with him. Because he's very talented as well. Perfect. Velveteen Dream will always have the champion's advantage. Cannot be that title. Cannot be taken. Yo, it's like his... He gets so much, like, so much like, heading into 2020. I can't even describe it. Like, he, it's like he literally ends up flying, and, and it looks like he ends up hurting himself. Like, just how far he ends up launching himself. I think there's only one more place. Webster can go, Nigel. Up and over the top. Okay, not bad. Buddy Murphy's is nice. Oh, they're doing a double. Okay, that was dope. Buddy Murphy's, I like his because he gets so he much, like, but look at Mark Andrews now. like, just how far Andrews he's able to jump out. Jacks. It looks like he damn near hurts himself every time. Coffee brothers are rocked. Andrews, coffee. Oh, that's dope, man. Like, it may look simple, but that shit is just impressive. Now, this is impressive seeing Kevin Owens do it because that's a lot of weight. I know y'all been wanting me to say that. Like look at this, bro. Look at oh. Oh. Even and though he he, he kind of does Wait. he doesn't he grabs the rope first before like he grabs the rope as extra leverage, but it's still Byron impressive to see someone that size hit that shit. Like he he swings over while holding the rope, and other wrestlers they kind of just they kind of just jump over the rope. He uses the rope to like swing over. I believe they're NXT champions, Fandango and um, Tyler Breeze. They're NXT champions, tag team champions. Shout out to them. Oh, that was dope. Proud of the ring, but not for long. Tag my ticket show. Back on here. That was dope. Oh, it is all about impressing the WWE universe here tonight. Watch out for Johnny Curtis. That was a young NXT right there. The beginning stages of NXT. Ricochet, of course he does it. And in, in NXT, when he was doing it, he looked, he looked just ridiculous, bro. His high flying ability. It's just top notch. It's just stay. At American Public University, WWE we believe that higher them. education Shout can out to the double ads, man. So we hit, can hit with double ads the entire vid. Yeah, he, he has hops for real. He's very athletic. See, look, he doesn't even touch the ropes. Kevin Owen touches the ropes to like give himself momentum. He literally just jumps over it. That is ridiculous, bro. Of the ricochet now for a few moments to recover. Ricochet's gonna Oh my bro, that is ridiculous, dog. Yo, that is ridiculous. He really could be a top tier main, like a mid card champ. If they just would have booked him correctly. So he does a step up. Yeah, he does a little step up. Because he, I believe he's kind of tall, if I'm not mistaken. He's like six foot plus. Yeah, he's tall. So it makes sense. It's still, 
it's, it still works because he hits the rope to springboard and then he lands it. I know Cedric, he hits his with ease. He's very athletic too. Look at this. Alexander trying to catch AJ Styles off guard. Cedric Alexander. Alexander looking Look at that. He got a nice form. He got the, the Sami Zayn type diving swan form. Uh, it's always funny when a ref hits that spot when they're talking to someone between the ropes. You know somebody's going to flip over them every time. Look at that. Beautiful tope caught Hilo. This is what he Mala does has a nice one too. Shout out to him being the uh NXT champ again. Then gonna take to the skies. Balor flies. The demon's about to take flight. And the demon flies and down goes Andrade. Super showdown. It's just a disgrace of a pay-per-view. Oh no, look out to Lee. That was nice. And take it out. Very old. One victory over the Intercontinental Champion. Oh, about to maneuver himself outside the ring. He has a nice little form, too, as well. I'm talking like I can do it. Oh, this form is impeccable. I can't do that shit. I snap my neck. Oh, no. Hopefully, my battery lasts. Nope, my battery's about to die. So, if you see a random cut, it's because my camera died. I forgot to charge it. Oops. That's dope. That was nice. King of the Rope strikes again. A guy, Grand so there will be a random cut at some point. It's on his way. I don't think my camera can last that long. Oh. damn. Montez Ford, his height. I don't know how he, he has bunnies. He has true hops. Look at, bro, look at that. Look at that. Look how much height he gets. Bro, that's not even tough. Yo. Are you kidding me? Bro, look at the height that this man gets, yo. Look at. Bro, look. Oh, my God. It's my first night there. The dude should be playing, like, guy. basketball you know? or football or something. Like, the height he gets is ridiculous on just all his area. Look. How is he? I'm confused. How is he jumping that high? Oh, this is an OG clip, man. It's time for Plan B. If there is a Plan B, Jeff Hardy. Oh yeah, Jeff. He tends to do it. You know, it's Jeff Hardy. Man. Bad mood and all, and you got the big show. Uh oh, and Watch Jeff McMahon. I always like like when they do it over the turnbuckle. I think that's always dope. Cause it's not a lot of room for air on that. Oh, that was that was dope. That was pretty impressive. Oh, Sheldon Benjamin, come on. Sheldon Benjamin, come on. Mr. Athleticism himself before Montez Ford was a thing. Sheldon. Sheldon had the bunnies too. That's an understatement. Chris Masters. Oh, that was nice. Super crazy was actually nice in the ring. Even though his gimmick was kind of crazy, he was actually pretty nice in the ring. He had some nice maneuvers. Center of the ring. Oh, not bad. from the Golden Links. Oh, that was dope. Nice, nice little tag. I don't think Big E realizes that Aiden English is the legal superstar. I think you're entirely right. Aiden English over the top and takes it. Not bad. That sends Thorne crashing outside the ring. And here comes Joaquin Wild. Oh, okay. So Black got all that one. Sheamus oh. inside the ring. I believe Ricochet made a tag. Alistair's going to join him. Not bad, not Sheamus. bad. I still think Montez Ford takes it, bro. He is his tope. Oh, my Jesus. Jesus Christ, Drew. His tope. Come in the helios. It's just the hops he gets. You don't know where he's getting these hops. He, he actually has one, which is insane. 
And that's crazy because he's not even touching the rope. That's all him. So, yeah, my camera died. That's that's what happened. That's why the position is somewhat switched. Camera died, but I was pretty much at the end of the video, man. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I definitely got to invest in getting another battery pack, so that doesn't happen as often. Um, but to be honest with you, Montez Ford, ridiculous with the hops. I've never seen anybody jump as high as him with no extra help. The dude has bunnies just to have bunnies. So comment down below. What's your favorite Tope con Helio from this video? Mine has to be Montez Ford because the dude just, he not only clears over the top rope, he keeps going up. Like, it's ridiculous, yo, how high he can jump. So that's my favorite one from this video. Let me know, comment down below, what's your favorite one from this video? I appreciate all the love and support. Road to, you know. 30k you know something slight road to 30k appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all on the next one peace